So my goal for the evening is to teach you a little bit about my native tongue, Pittsburghese. It's a dialect that you may not know this, but most people in the English-speaking world can't even understand it. That's why I think it's so entertaining. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Uh, some linguists call Pittsburghese the Galapagos Islands of American dialects. It's unique. It's basically been unadulterated by the outside world. Sounds pretty cool, but growing up, I hated it. I thought it sounded stupid. I thought that Pittsburgh, all it had to offer was football and big hair. I got out of there as soon as I could. But you know what? That blue-collar melting pot really grew on me, and I'm here to say today that I love Pittsburgh. <laughs> My first experience learning about Pittsburgh is getting acquainted with it was a job in high school in an office during the summer. There was this really heavy guy, and people would say, hey, cow, what's up, cow? I thought to myself, you people are jerks. Then I walked up to his desk and saw his nameplate. It said K-Y-L-E. Oh, Kyle, the long eye. It all made sense then. And the thing to learn about Pittsburgh here is it's all about the thongs. The long eye in Kyle is what's called a diphthong. And a diphthong is basically two short vowel sounds that slide together. Pittsburghers love to shorten diphthongs into monophthongs. So the words vowel and vile are actually pronounced vowel. So Berg poetry is really easy because everything rhymes. Here's one I wrote the other day. I ran for a mile, then reached for a towel to wipe the sweat from my brow. I'm not making this up. This is how I actually talk in Pittsburgh. Now here's time for something a little bit more advanced. Yin's got irons in the cooler for the Stillers gaming at. And how'd you like to run down Giant Eagle and pick me up a pound of jumbo for sandwiches in that? That's real Pittsburghese. So we're going to do a little warm-up exercise that I got from Pittsburghese.com. I'd like everyone to say, out. out. It's very articulate. Now I want everyone to massage your jaw and relax. Think lazy thoughts. Just let it slide out. Ah. That is the sound you want. That is foundational to all Pittsburghese, the word ought. Now, the next exercise is I need some water for this. Everyone, make the sound. Put your tongue between your teeth. Now, bite down on your tongue as hard as you can until it bleeds. That will remind you that we do not make that sound in Pittsburghese. Don't ever do it. The second person pronoun in English is you for both plural and singular. In the South, they use the plural, they say y'all. In Pittsburgh, it's either yins or yuns. You're a yinzer or a yunzer. I'm a yinzer. We also say inat after everything, which that's cut off. How'd yuns like a cold beer inat? That should be at the end there. Anyway, inat is kind of like when Canadians say a. They say it after everything. It doesn't mean anything. It adds absolutely no information to the sentence. So Pittsburgh is a still town. Still is made in a mill, and yes, they rhyme. Still is made from iron. Yins all know iron. You iron your pants in that whenever they get wrinkles. In Pittsburgh, we drink Iron City beer and we, while we watch the Stillers play. The Stillers play in Heinz Field, which is downtown. And you know, you all know that song by Petula Clark, downtown? When yins are alone and things are making you lonely, you can always go dun, dun. Wow, that worked. I tried that on some friends today and they looked at me like I was an idiot. The entire planet calls that meat product right there baloney. But if you're a yinzer, you call it jumbo. And that chipped ham, we call it chip chop. Great for making sandwiches. So where do you go to buy sandwich that meat? You go down to your deli counter at your local, well, if you're a jag off and you say, you might say giant eagle, but if you're from the Berg, you say John Eagle. <laughs> or Eagle or the big bird. Now it's time for us all to try it out. Yin's got irons and jumbo sandwiches and it's cooler for the stiller game than that. Let's everyone say it together. Yin's got irons and jumbo sandwiches in the cooler for the Stillers game in that. Now you're ready to party with that guy. <laughs>
Now, I know some of you are embarrassed about the, your hometown like I was, but I've got advice for you. Just let it go. Be like that guy, and Yin should be proud. 